My name is Adam Comstock. I'm a recording engineer for the production team Rock Mafia. I went to school at the Berklee College of Music. The funny thing about recording engineers, it could mean a lot of different things because it's changed a lot over the years. The one part that hasn't changed is it's still just about making sure that everything sounds as good as possible so that the producer doesn't have to think about it while well, they're just focusing on the, the musical aspect of it. Rock Mafia, we're first and foremost a production team. We work with a lot of different labels. My two bosses are songwriter producers. They write songs, we make demos, we pitch them to the labels, usually with a particular artist in mind. We're really lucky in that they say yes a lot. The artist comes in, we record with them, we make the track better as much as possible and it comes out. We're also an independent label. I'm a really weird case. I've always kind of known what I wanted to do and that I wanted to do music, but I wasn't quite sure what. So I went to Berkeley as a musician, as a guitar player, and then somewhere along the line, I decided I was really interested in doing the technology side of it. So I majored in music production and engineering. Kind of found out I had a knack. Graduated early. I moved out here and then randomly I got a phone call. Actually from, from a former friend at Berkeley, who's now my boss, was looking for someone to be a runner and intern. And uh, three years later, I'm now an engineer there. When you're working as an intern at a recording studio, your job is to get all the coffee, get the food, or just in general to kind of have everybody's back because um, they're tied up doing the music stuff. So you have to learn how to read everyone's mind, basically, or just be able to anticipate pretty much everything that they're going to want or need. The biggest, biggest, biggest thing is, is attitude, first and foremost. I went to school with a lot of talented people, and the people that have made it are Ultimately, not the ones who were the most talented, but the ones who were who, who had the best attitude, were most willing to work as part of a team. Your attitude's what gets you in the door, and then your ability to learn is what keeps you there. You know, what's funny is, is just yesterday, someone was just talking to me about my job, and somehow my hobbies came up. They're like, what's, what's your biggest hobby? I've thought about it for a good minute, and I realized that what I actually do for work is my hobby, making music, playing music. Just music in general is my biggest hobby, so I'm really blessed and spoiled and fortunate that my biggest hobby has translated into what I'm what I'm doing for, for work now. It's cliche, but I'm a huge Beatles fan. Hearing that stuff, it just sounds so interesting coming off the record. And it was the first time that I think I noticed how a record sounded and really thought maybe I'd like to be involved in that that aspect of it. It was the first time I was really listening to more than just the, the music. Top three favorite albums. I have to put Magical Mystery Tour right up there. I think the songs are incredible on it and the production is so out there, you know, you take it for granted now, but you think about when they made it, and it's like, I don't even know how they thought to do that. My boss is one role model of mine. He has the most insane work ethic I've ever seen. He actually hasn't taken a single day off this whole year so far. Every day he shows up wanting to be A plus 100%, and there's a lot to be said for that. And it's really hard to keep that up all the time, so uh, it's really admirable. I'm feeling pretty good about right now, just that I've managed to make it to where I am. That was a really big moment when I finally got promoted just to being a recording engineer. I don't know if there's so much one single event. It might just be more that when I finally, when, I'm, when I turn 30 someday, you know, and I'm still doing this, I'll feel pretty good about that, just that I've managed to really make a life out of, out of music.